So if we want to find the, bless you. So to find the second derivative, first thing we have to do is find the first derivative. So again, we're just going to do d over dx of 4xy equals d over dx of 10. Right? We notice here we have to do the chain rule. So we can take out the 4. And by taking out the ace 4, we're doing the uh, chain rule, which is basically going to be 1 times y plus um, 1 times y plus you're going to have uh, x times 1 dy over dx equals 0. I can distribute that 4 back in, so I'm really left with a 4y plus, actually, don't even need to, don't even need to distribute the 4 back in because I want to solve for dy dx, right? So let's divide that 4 on both sides. So I'm left with y plus x dy dx equals 0. Yeah, product rule. Now, to go ahead and solve uh, for dy dx, I'm just going to use inverse operations. So dy dx um, is equal, so the first derivative is negative y over x. That's our first derivative, OK? So if we want to find the second derivative, we have, uh, so here, so we have dy over dx equals negative y over x. Well, to find the second derivative, we need to do d, to do implicit differentiation again, we need to do d over dx again, right? So we're going to do d over dx of dy over dx. Yes. What? Well, remember when we're taking the derivative, we're taking d, we're taking dy dx of both sides. So I'll, what I'm sh you'll see what happens. What happens when I do the second derivative here? What I get is d squared y over dx squared which, if you guys remember, in my notes was one of those ways to represent the second derivative. Basically, that's the same thing as f double prime of x or y double prime. It's the same thing. This is just another way of saying, oh, here's the second derivative. OK? Um, so now, to take dy dx of negative y over x, what we notice is we now have to use the, starts with the q, the quotient rule. So. Oh. By using the quotient rule, I end up with uh, x times negative 1 dy over dx minus negative y times 1 all over x squared, which gives me negative x dy over dx plus y over x squared. Now we see. What do we know is dy dx? dy dx, we actually have a value for dy dx. Right? Oh, amazing. Math is wonderful. Math is beautiful. Now, notice that that is in 1. So therefore, those x's divide out. And you're left with y plus y over x squared. 2y over x squared is d squared, or dy over dx squared. And there you go. Math is beautiful. Yes? Why would it be 0 over x squared? Because that's a negative y. Uh, because it's negative x. 